I'm Kyle. I'm trying to relax during the movie, but it's so scary. Oh, no. That's when he pit, pissed everywhere. You're not going to use any of this. No. Hey, welcome to Dumb Movie Day, everybody. Glad you could join us. As you can see, we're in a different location. We're in a bar, and that's for a very good reason, because today is our one-year anniversary. Now... You're probably saying, Kyle, didn't you start this show in the summer? Well, you know, we lost some months, so technically it's today. Let's go with that. Because it's our one-year anniversary, I'd like to take a quick look back at the memories that have made this show what it is today. Roll the clip. Wow. <laughs> so many memories. Am I right? I couldn't be more elated to have our guests on today. This is the first time in Drunk Movie Day history that we've had a reoccurring guest. And again, that's for very good reason as well, because he was our very first guest, and I'm so excited to bring him back out here. Please put your hands together for Cam McLeod. Hey! Ah! Fuck! Cameron, how's it going? So fantastic. So good to have you here. Happy to be back. You look like uh, you are taking radio broadcasting in community college. <laughs> I definitely am. Here it comes down the ice. Oh, and it's a shit and a mess. I don't know. He takes it from the boards and shoots it into the hoop. <laughs> we'll be right back after this message from Giriano's Pizza Delivery. Giriano's, when you can't leave your room. Cam, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to see a very fun movie. I think it's in line with the happenings of the holiday coming up. What's that holiday? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the same name as the movie we're seeing today. Halloween! <laughs> crack a lightning, crack a lightning. Oh, a bat. No. Oh, no. A witch. It's, it's, Look out. Here's a pumpkin, Cam. Yikes, it's got teeth. So, this movie's called Halloween. It's mm -hmm. not a remake. It's a sequel to the original Halloween. We're ignoring all the other sequels, even though Jamie Lee Curtis was in them, and she's also in this one. But in this one, she's got long hair, not the mum haircut from H2O. Right, H2O not existing. The one with Paul Rudd. Hit the bricks, Paul Rudd. I like that they can just do that with movies now. It's just like, hey, we made one, we made six other ones, but guess what? No, 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 no. Yeah. Pretend that those don't exist. You know what, studio? Why don't you just destroy them all then? Yeah. Go ahead and clean yeah. off the internet. You want a fresh start? Make it official. Get rid of the others. Make it real. I don't want to see those on We're my We're calling Netflix your bluff. Browser. This just in, Dragados is burnt to the ground. <laughs> to one year. To one year drinks, and film. Mm. Ah, gin. It goes straight down. Mm -hmm. Shall we? <sighs> <laughs> the bus crashed. Michael Myers escaped. He'll return to Haddonfield, his home. I need to protect my... Mm. It's good. Oh. We're back. Hello. We saw Halloween. The movie. Yeah, we didn't see... The season. The season yet. I am a fan of slasher films. Everybody is. Huge yeah. fan of slasher films. Does everybody you know own parts one to eight of the Friday the 13th franchise on VHS tapes, three of them that he stole from a blockbuster to complete his collection. What blockbuster was that? Maple Ridge. You hear that? Look him up, Cam McCloud, Maple Ridge. Yeah, blockbuster, come find me and take back your money. Oh God, is that blockbuster? Ha! You know you make me wanna shout, kick my heels up and down, throw my hands up and down, throw my head back and down, come on. Michael Myers is in a psychiatric hospital. That's correct. And we see all the patients walking around and stuff like that. And then an orderly puts on a record. And instead of being a song that everybody would know, no, 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 it's a creepy song from the 1930s. Of course it is, because what other records do psychiatric, ha psychiatric castables have to play but... 1930s vinyl. What kind of fun do these hospitals right. have? But my Give me some Bruno Mars, some Taylor Swift, some Kelly Clarkson. What's going to happen to that yard when they put on some Busta Rhymes? I mean, that's from like the nice early 2000s, but even Give so. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. The patients are going to love it. Padded room and some handcuffs. Give me some more. Give me some more. Pills in a small cup. Give me some more. Visitation hours. Give me some more.
trick or treat, motherfucker. We're introduced to the psychiatric hospital through two British characters who are recording a podcast. But I did enjoy that the Michael Myers mask had wrinkles all over it. Like it aged. Oh, it's been it's been worked. But it, like it aged. You know what? His satchel wasn't the first satchel that that mask has been stuffed into. They ignored every other movie, so he's only killed five people. He's only killed five people, but I think that that mask, with whoever's looking after the mask and their kids in high school, you know, they probably snuck in, stole it to wear for, like, a Halloween costume. Someone else took it on, like, a cruise to, like, Malibu for a Halloween cruise. Someone else was like, ooh, can I borrow this mask? It's so creepy. Wait, a murderer actually wore this? Oh, my God. Let's... Wear this to one of those like singles clubs where it's all sex stuff in Mexico, and they wore that, and it was really gross. One, two, three, four. Every day I'm shuffling. We're then introduced to um, Jamie Lee Curtis's character, Laurie Stroud. Stroud, and she has a daughter played by. The mother is played by Kitty from Arrested Development, and who's the father played by? The Wiz! I'm the Wiz! From Seinfeld. It's hard to remove It's tough to, to separate yourself yeah, from it's those hard things. To remove. Especially when the Wiz spills peanut butter <laughs> and for some reason, for some reason, says, Oh God, I got peanut butter on my penis. It's like, oh, uh, you know what? We got that one take. Why don't we like try and spice it up? Uh, I mean, you got the peanut butter on your hand. Mm. Let's do let's see some other takes. Okay, let's see what you got. Also, can you at the end say, I'm the Wiz? <laughs> oh no, I've got some peanut butter on my cock and balls. I'm the Wiz. Oh no, I got peanut butter on my royalty check from Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm the Wiz. Okay. Let's talk I, about a room full of, of mannequins. mannequins. Let's talk about it. Let's unpack it. Let's unpack a room full of mannequins. So, this is the thing. Is that, I mean, if you're going to have a room upstairs full of mannequins, why have them set up in a Their sort mannequin of form. circle mannequin form? Yeah. My mannequins have turned against me. Why do I feel so weird? There's all these white mannequins that are the same color as my killer's mask. Bit you in the ass there. My killer's mask. I would love to be the guy who drops off the order of mannequins. Do you oh, think yeah. she buys them wholesale? Oh, no. She Amazon? Buy, she buys that shit on Craigslist, and it's weird when she picks them up. Yeah. She's picking that shit up back alley of, like, a Sears that's gone out of business from, like, a dude who was a janitor there who shouldn't be there anymore but still has the keys. Hey, are you Spencer? Are you the guy I'm supposed to meet? Yeah, yeah, the- yeah. Sure, I'm Spencer. I got the torsos and the heads and the legs. Well, no arms, as agreed upon. Of course, yeah. No, I already have the arms. I'm loading this into my truck. Yeah, I've got 14 dozen arms and not a torso to work with. If I was a delivery driver, I'd be like, I think she's, she's trying to make those mannequins come come back to life. Have you ever seen As if the movie Mannequin? mannequin. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Tom, you ever seen the movie Weird Science? Of course yeah, I've have. checked that out. Yeah. You ever seen the movie Mannequin? Oh, sure. It's one of my favorites. What about Mannequin 2 on the moon? <laughs> oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. So, you know that lady we just sold all those mannequins to? Sure, the strange woman with the perfect hair, even though she's 65. Yeah. You get the feeling that all those mannequins we sold to her, that she's maybe trying to bring them to life? What, to have some sort of mannequin chorus line to keep her happy? I was thinking more like a weird sex thing, but you bring up several good points. Let me say this. The house she lives in, god damn it, it's beautiful. It's in the forest. It has two different fireplaces. One, Mm. beautiful. You see it. Gorgeous. There's just a place to sit. So much fresh wood. But then, in another room, another fireplace. Beautiful. Guess what, a horror movie? If you want to spook a couple of people who can't afford a house, the worst thing you could do is show us a gorgeous... 1,500 square foot... 1,500 square feet. ...cottage with two fireplaces. Are you kidding me? He's going to be taking down notes of the square footage. I'm going to be taking down notes of real estate agents. Exactly. We're not going to get spooked at all. No. We want to live there. We want to live where you almost got killed. We should start a real estate company. We want to live 
where you almost got killed. Hi, I'm Kyle. Did you, do you have too many bad memories in the house that a mass murderer tried to kill you? Are there blood stains you can't get rid of? But also, do you have a fireplace? Are there two fireplaces in your condo or small cabin? Well, then we're the guys for you. Let us take your terrible memories of murder and turn them into happy memories for us. Look, do we not have our real estate agent license? Yes. Were we arrested on opiate charges? Yes. But is your house a scene of a murder? Also yes. Give it to us. Gimme, 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 gimme. I've got a I've got a note here that just says yelling Karen. Because Kitty's name was Karen. So there's a lot at the end yelling, Karen! Most people who yell Karen are in a wine cellar. I feel like Karen! a Karen! I feel like a lot of people that yell out Karen are lost in some sort of old antique shop. Uh, Karen? I would think Karen would be a name that you yell on a cruise when you're lost in one of the several pools. Karen! Karen! <laughs> Cam, out of 10 creepy old-fashioned records, what would you give this movie? I'm going to give it eight slit throats or seven stabs to the throat. Go on jflnorthwest.com. Vote for us for best web series. Vote for Cam. Best show, hero show. It's great. Monthly. Cam, you're my first guest. I'm you're my your, middle guest. I'm your, I'm your guest forever. I'll never forget you. I'm going to take him to my grave. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Shut up. He's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody.